Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. I'm Austin here with Ross. Today's show is sponsored by the JRTC. The group is sponsoring a haunted house on October 28th. If your family would like to volunteer to be part of the trunk or treat outside the haunted house, contact Chief Barley. There will be a bolo issued on campus. David has lost his ID. We now have to call him Dave until one of you finds the ID. The end of the grading period is this Friday. OMG, the bill has come due. Alert, alert, the bill has come due. October 7th is the end of the first nine weeks. Any grades taken after October 7th will appear on the second nine weeks grade report. On October 14th, teacher grades are due in power school by 8 a.m. On October 18th, report cards go out. On October 19th, parent-teacher conferences are scheduled. Oh, that means if you need to turn in some extra work or get all the texting you need to get done now because you probably won't have a phone until Christmas. We are selling FFA t-shirts. They will be $10 each. The last day to purchase a shirt will be October 21st, 2022. See Mr. Jackson for details. Today, October 5th, is turning out to be super busy all over campus. The pre-ACT is scheduled for October 5th for all sophomores. That is today! Peer helpers will be meeting today in the counseling office during Warhawk Way. On the, uh, the evening of October 5th, that's tonight, the counseling department is hosting a parent night for all seniors from 4 to 6 p.m. to receive help with uh, completing the FAFSA. Seniors are encouraged to bring collecting information to complete the FAFSA during free college application week that begins October 17th. Seniors are reminded that completing the FAFSA is now a graduation requirement for the state of Alabama, according to the Alabama Department of Education. Let's go ahead and get this done before the holiday season approaches. Thank you to the Fort Rucker Thrift Shop for donating the money necessary to move the grand piano from the convention center to the band room. The piano is scheduled to be moved the morning of today. She's a real beauty. We can't wait till you get to see her. Sonations, our choir is sponsoring a holiday sing-along on the piano in December as part of December's Free Bird Cafe. On October 7th, the Warhawks are going to lay out the Bobcats. The Warhawks will play against Op at home beginning at 7. Tickets are available at the $7. The Dilbo Band will travel to Fort Rucker Elementary on Friday, October 7th to run a pep rally for our military families attending school on base. Selected students from cheer and volleyball will also attend. The 36th Annual Daleville Invitational Band Classic is scheduled for Saturday, October 8th on the Daleville High Campus. Over 985 students from other schools will be on, present on campus, taking place and performances throughout the day. Tickets for students are $6 at the gate. Performances begin around 11 a.m. and continue through the evening every 10 minutes or so. Students attending should bring lots of cash to blow out at the concession stands. October 10th and 11th are days off for students. Fall break will be just those two days and is conveniently scheduled after the band classic, so we can attempt to survive the business of the week. The Air Force will be here on October uh, the 12th to yeah October 12th to speak with students. Han Hanover College will stop by on October 18th, 15th. 15th. Oh. The middle school will have their building dedication at 4 p.m. on Monday, October 17th. All community members and students are invited to attend. School pictures are scheduled for the 18th. Get your yearbook outfits ready. Seniors that miss their drape portrait day will have the drape suit pictures made at that time. There will be only be formal pictures made for seniors. That drape photos are the photos that are in the newspaper. What? what? WDHN. Oh, that. WTHN, WTVY, and uh, other end of the year celebrations. So make sure you get one taken. Parent Teacher Conference Day is scheduled for October 19th, and it's a half day for students. Congratulations to Kylie for receiving an email from Jill Biden straight from the White House. She has won $60 million. So excited for her. <laughs> Red Ribbon Week is the week of October 24th. The Sonations Choir is hosting the first Freebird Cafe of the year in the band room on October 31st, Halloween. Tickets are $1 to get in and are limited to 50 people. Buy your tickets fast. Lunch today is a barbecue sandwich, salad, corn chips, pineapple chunks, and milk. Go Warhawks!